Hi, this is Paul Tannehill. We're getting our LBCC Moodle system updated to version 2.9 over the winter break. So when you come back for winter term, you'll see some interesting changes. This isn't a big update, just a couple of minor things I'm going to share with you right now. Let's take a look at how quizzes work now. I click into a quiz. And if I click in the administration block under quiz administration, go down to edit quiz, and you'll see how you can shuffle questions within a quiz. If you're looking for how to shuffle answers within a quiz question, go back to the administration block, again under quiz administration, down to edit settings. And in here, under question behavior, you'll see how you can shuffle answers within quiz questions. Let's go back to the course start page. We'll take a quick look at some improvements when it comes to sections in your Moodle course, as well as activities and resources. I'll go ahead and click on Turn Editing On. Now, if you run your Moodle course or courses in weekly format, you might explore Topics format. Now, this feature's been available for a few months now, where you can highlight a section in your course, simply by clicking the eyeball. And again, this is only available when you are working in topics format in your course shell. And again, you can change the format of your course shell in the course settings area. But one thing that's brand new is this X. You know, we know what the X means when it comes to other activities and resources, but you can now delete an entire topic. If I click on that, it'll give me a confirmation. And what that will do, I'll click on cancel for now. What that will do is, of course, delete the entire topic and also everything within that topic. Or we think of these as sections, actually. So, let's take a look at some resources and activities, some things you don't have to worry about anymore. Let's take a look at this resource right here. If I click on Edit, down to Edit Settings. This is subtle, but it's been a... Um, bit of a hang-up, I should say. Um, look in this description field right here. There's no more asterisk, which means it's not a required field. We're going to say, at least for now, though, that it's still a good idea to place some kind of description in there. Let's go down to the page content field, and you'll see this. This is called the Addo toolbar. This is your, your typical Moodle text input box. And the little button that discloses the rest of the toolbar is now moved as has another important feature if you, especially if you embed videos, the little HTML button has gone from the right side over to the left. Just some minor shifts here. Uh, nothing's missing, we don't think. Uh, just different locations for some reason. I'm back on my course start page. So I can go into a page that has some images in it. This happens to be a Moodle page as a tutorial on how to build Moodle pages. You'll see some of these, well, all of these screenshots are outdated though go into the settings area and we'll get back to that familiar text input box. Notice as I select images, let's pretend I'm going to replace some images in here. Notice something's missing in previous uh, from previous versions. There's no more control handles on any of the images. So how do you resize them? I found you can double click an image and you can resize it in here. Also, back again to this toolbar up here, I meant to mention earlier that you might notice that there's not quite the granularity when it comes to font size control. And as far as everything else in here goes, we've come to the realization that we're pretty sure Moodle is looking at the new way of inputting text into Moodle pages and any kind of resource or activity as everything needs to be accessible. And so these settings here will make all of your text accessible compared to the old way. I think that about covers everything we want to touch on in this update. Like I said, no, nothing major, but a few minor things that might help you as far as uh, quiz uh, question shuffling and your resource and activities. Also, remember the power behind this guy right here. Now you can delete an entire topic. And until next time.
little on.